Okay, this is our Fax Mars. I'm going to talk about John Russell Hauser, who the police are telling us was the uh, shooter down in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, this is stuff from a uh, New York Times article that was posted here. This one is a liberal. She posts here all the time. It's my site, Tyranny Watch on Yuku. There's uh, something that's really bothering me about this one. Um, I haven't quite figured it out yet. There may be another video if I am able to figure out what it is that's bothering me about this. Uh, this maggot was in theater, sits in some movie for about 20 minutes, and then starts shooting. Uh, one of the things, according to the Times article, is that he uh, was bipolar. A better name for that, the old-fashioned name. I don't know where these liberals come up with these bizarre names like bipolar. It's called manic depressive disorder. Basically, uh, you have very sharp mood swings. Uh, one minute you'll be severely depressed, next minute you'll be, uh, on the exact opposite, you'll be extremely elated, and it can cause them to do very dangerous things. We're not talking normal moods like normal person uh, has. Anyway, uh, I don't, there's some things here that are bothering me and I haven't, I'm not quite there yet as far as what it is. However, I've highlighted, uh, this what, uh, paragraph in the Times. Soon, two young women lay fatally shot, nine others were wounded, and with that, on Thursday night, Lafayette, which boasts of being the happiest city in the country, joined Chattanooga, Tennessee, Charleston, South Carolina, Aurora, Colorado, Newtown, Connecticut, and so many others, along the list of cities scarred by gun violence. Well, first of all, uh, Chattanooga was, uh, people in Chattanooga were shot by a jihadist. Same thing with Aurora, Colorado. But what they're doing, I think this is one of the things that's bothering me. The lefties have got a hold of this, and they're coming up with all this psychobabble acquaintance Accounts from acquaintances, law enforcement officials, and court records portray Mr. Hauser, 59, of Phoenix City, Alabama, who also took his own life as a man with a diffuse collection of troubles and grievances, personal, political, and social, who had a per particular anger for s women liberals, and government, and changing world. Now here we go again, they're getting into all this pedantic psychobabble. instead of calling him what he was, which was a criminal. If you take out a gun in theater and you start shooting, you're a crook. And possibly a terrorist if you're uh, a Muslim like in the Aurora shooting. We already talked about that. Given his history, he should not have been allowed to have a gun, said Sheriff. Keith D. Taylor of Russell County, where Mr. Hauser lived. Yeah, you think? So, what I'm thinking... This is, uh, bothering me, but... 
I think the thing that's uh, sticking in my uh, rear end is that this maggot is being portrayed as the average white wing extremist and he had the wrong political affiliations. Gee, he's a member of the Tea Party. None of that's relevant. The only thing that's relevant here is crying. He committed to crying, people. But the left is turning this into a political statement. And I think that's that's probably the biggest thing that's bothering me. I still think there's something there that we're not being told. I mean, this is from the New York Times. That's not exactly what I would call a respectable source, given that I just they're just a member of the hardcore left. That's bottom line, and so this article is packed full of propaganda. Now I'll take a look at Daily Beast. Here's a photo of the maggot. The Daily Beast is sitting here Basically is saying the same thing that same types of things that Times was. It's white power, he is a woman hater, he was this, he was that. So what's happened here I think is uh this shooting is being exploited once again for political purposes. These articles prove it. The emphasis should be um, why did this crime happen and what can we do to prevent it from happening in the future? That should be our emphasis. But apparently That's not what the uh, left wants. They love this type of story. Because apparently he wasn't a jihadist or anything. He was a whack job. And of course, if he's a right winger, they're going to bring all that information out. And if he's a left winger, they're going to hide it. That's why these uh, people operate. And mentions his. Uh, Tea Party page. I'm going to bring that up. Tea Party Nation. I'm on Tea Party. I don't know about this Tea Party Nation, whether they're affiliated or... I'm looking for an about page. There is this page, but there's nothing on it. So we're going to bring up the home here on this and see what there is. This may not actually be a Tea Party, uh, a valid Tea Party thing. I don't know. There's a tea party. I am on that. But I don't know about a tea party neighbor. A tea party nation. Uh, this doesn't strike me as being actually affiliated with a tea party. It says here is a social network. So I'm thinking it's probably not affiliated. I, I'm uh, calling bullshit on this. There's something wrong. The left is sucking and jiving us again. Maybe it's just that they're so happy. This time it wasn't a jihadi. It was uh, 
whack job of wanting all the right groups. And they can sit there and dance on the jig and say, See, see, white male went whack on and killed some people. In the meantime, with the Chattanooga shooter, whose name I really can't pronounce, they're still saying they don't know what the motivation was. I'm getting sick of that. Well, anyway, that's about it for this report. If I find out more information on the maggot, we'll uh, let you know. Uh, I use my guns for squirrel hunting. You ever want a squirrel hunting par partner and you're here in uh, something western New York, south Rochester, look me up. Grab your orange vest, grab your shotgun, and let's go. I love squirrel hunting. That's a valid thing to do with your guns. This is Artifacts of Mars. Uh, thanks for watching. And keep your eye on the story if something doesn't strike me right. <laughs>